eight, seven, six, five, four, three. The wild border country between England and Scotland in the 16th century, a time of violence and disorder. Two queens on two thrones, an English Elizabeth and a Scottish Mary. And between them, a frontier alive with cattle raiders, thieves and outlaws. Some woman, Mary. Oh, you should know. <laughs> oh, I do. Uh, well, you've had enough experience to judge from, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, am I keeping you from your household duties? Who thought this was one of them? Oh, Mary. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. As for the others, I'm quite sure that the scullions can manage in the kitchen without me. Are we wild? Oh, just have to eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Um. Oh, if I had any choice in the matter, I wouldn't just have you as a housekeeper. I think you did just have me as a housekeeper. I mean, if I wasn't married already, you couldn't. Sir Walter! Mm. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Walter! Oh, what? oh, oh miss, oh, you're oh, honest. Oh, you're a blundering nutty goat. Well, why can't you knock before you come into my chamber? It's William. Eh? William who? He's in the hall. William? I'm William Kerr. Master William, you son. Oh, no, no, I'll be uh, down in a minute. Uh, son, oh, mercy on us. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the castle hasn't changed much, Pringle. Oh, there's a bit more mould on the walls. How are the rats getting on in the cellars? Oh, I'm afraid with a, without you to pick them off your wee crossbow the way you used to. Oh, crept back, have they? All right, Mistress Mary, the housekeeper, does what she can with poison, but uh, it's the other rats that cause most of our troubles. Uh, Scots and Armstrongs and the like. The whole ruffianly rabble. Aye. And you, Pringle? Uh -huh. Still looking after my father with advantage to you both? Oh, well, I do what I can to keep the affairs of the march in order, Aye. Master William. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> Oh, laddie. <laughs> oh, you should have warned to see you coming. No, I thought I'd surprise you. Eh? Aye, aye, aye. Oh, well, you did that. Aye. Mm -hmm. You were busy? Eh, oh, oh, all the warden aye is his hands full with something. Oh, oh aye. Aye, Pringle. Oh, aye. Some wine. Oh, it's been five years. Aye. Five whole years, eh? How was Pad, you oh. know? Do you speak good French now, oh, do you, eh? Well. <laughs> I will have a feast for your homecoming, eh, Pringle? Aye, that's ah. it. <laughs> Aye, kill the fatted calf. Oh, for the prodigal son. Well, you don't look as if you've been living among swineherds. Uh, no, well, I've been at court since I got home. Oh. Uh, your health, father. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, now tell me, you haven't come back to Sesford after five years away just to drink my health. <laughs> Distrustful as ever. No, but if it's really to see it's me It's really again. to tell you I mean to be married. Married? Aye. I thought you ought to know. Uh -huh. To whom? Well, this may come as a surprise, Father. Now listen, but... William. For all your long absence from the borders, you're still a care of Sesford. That means you'll be warden here one day. Well, the wardenship's not our prerogative. It's ours or Scots or Branksome's, it I has been. Now, I mean to see that I'm succeeded by you. Now, as soon as you decide to settle down, I'll have you appointed by deputy. But when I go, as go I shall, for we're all mortal. Or even you? Marriage is not to be entered delightfully. So if you've got yourself entangled with some wench you've picked up in your travels, you've got myself out. entangled with Lady Janet Ruthven. Who? Her father was Lord Ruthven. Well, he's dead now, of course, but I think the family still counts for something in Edinburgh. Still counts for something? Why, the Ruthvens are one of the most influential families in all Scotland. You're not jesting, are you? No. She accepted you. Aye. And as soon as you give us your consent... My well. consent, Tom! Pringle! <laughs> when shall I meet her? She's on her way from Edinburgh now with her sister. They'll be here tomorrow. Oh, we'll have a banquet, Your Honour. Dancing minstrels, good wine. <laughs> Pringle! Aye. Master William's to be wed. 
No. Ay, to Lady Janet Rothburn of Edinburgh. God bless my soul. <laughs> Sir Walter wants to know if there's anything you need at all, Lady Janet. No, thank you. Well, if there's anything at all that I can We can do. manage very well, thank you, Mistress Mary. She does not, I think, like me. <laughs> she's just a whit jealous, sister. For years she's had the running of Cessford Castle to herself, I imagine. But now, with you to be mistress over her, I'm not married to William Yetwood. Is there anything wrong, Janet? Why? What should be? Oh, well, in the sun, what makes you so sad? As the sun shines over the valley, I lie sorely sick for the sake of me. Among the blue flowers and the yellow. Can you not sing something more cheerful on the night of a betrothal? Pam sings what my heart wants. Oh, is she an heiress early defined? As the sun shines so far the valley, that she won a talk on a pity on thee. Among the blue flowers and the yellow. Damn it, Pringle. I know the Lady Janet comes from a fine family, but she's no a wee, uh, wee dafty, is she? The Lady Janet Ruffin? I wouldn't like to see my son alive to a lass who didn't come out right at birth. There's, there's something of the fairies about her, something that makes a man feel not altogether himself in a She's person. a fine woman, Warden, and William is to be congratulated. Aye, but this damn minstrel she's brought with her. I mean, her sister, I, with the lassie's mother in her grave, she needs a woman of the family. Where do I bring him? Tam of the home said I an honoured position in the Ruthven household. And they tell me that since Lord Ruthven's death, he's been like a second father to her ladyship. She's very attached to him. Well, she'll soon be attached to you, William, won't she? Oh, we, ye, 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 ye. Ah, would you look at the turkey cock, eh? <laughs> ah, we'll soon show the Scots a branch of who rules this march, won't we, laddie? Well, they've not invited the Scots. Aye. Uh -huh. But we're a feud with them. A feud that's been dozing off and on for ten years. It's time it was buried. <laughs> and what better time to do that than on the night of your betrothal to Lady Janet Ruthven of Edinburgh? Now, eh? Father, I'll have no trouble in front of Janet. Oh, there'll be none. They'll be disarmed as soon as they arrive. If they arrive. <laughs> <laughs> but you said it was to be a family occasion. Just a dozen or so guests and old friends. Ah, I'll away and see to the musicians. <laughs> You're meaning to show them the cares of Cessford won't end with me. My, but you're quick. Oh, <laughs> quick, lad. Oh. No, but supposing there's not a child in Janet. There will be soon enough if there's anything of your father in you. Oh, I mean, <laughs> if she's barren. Eh? <laughs> I was jesting. Oh, you are yeah. Janet will bear your grandson. I can make my deputy one day. <laughs> you're your father's son, lad. <laughs> No, but you have to do something about the castle, Father. I'll not have Janet driven out by the cold back to Edinburgh, as oh, Mother was. Well, have the place turned into a palace for her, if you like. <laughs> well, even if the flu swept, eh? Well, take care. From what I've seen of the chimneys, it's only the soot holds them up. <laughs> what this, uh, this minstrel? Tom. Oh. He's a great singer. He'll not stay on with you, will he? Well, of course he will, Father. He's blind. I hate the blind. Oh, he's harmless, Father. Hey, come on, the guests will be coming. Hey, William. Hey. After the wild life you've been leading these five years, I was, I was mortally afraid for the kind of marriage your folly might lead you into. But as it is, I couldn't have done better if I'd picked her myself. No, well, I doubt if I'd have wanted her then. She's even prettier than the Queen. Aye, well, well I thought I'd leave the Queen for you. Eh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you devil! <laughs> The roads are bad, aren't they? Oh, the roads bad. Inside? Uh -huh. Can you take well, my coat? You managed to make it anyway. Oh, sure. You really do it well. Oh, you really do it well. Oh, welcome, cousins. Oh, 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 
Oh, I miss you. <laughs> ah, it's a cold night for riding, but we'll soon have you warm enough. Eh? It's some wine, Mary. <laughs> there you go. Good evening, Mr. Oh, Good evening to you, Mr. Margaret. <laughs> My, in that dress, Margaret, you look all set for a wedding yourself. Oh, and so I should. I was married in it. Oh, it still fits you fine. <laughs> After 25 years, my thanks to you, Walter. It's the only one I had for a grand occasion like this. Well, perhaps tonight it'll get you a new husband. Oh, <laughs> aye, a wife for Gavin and a good man for Agnes. Oh, there's nothing like a good marriage, eh? You're a fine one to talk. Oh, Elizabeth's got no great liking for the borders, Margaret. And that's as well. Like the borders tonight. Oh, tonight. I've never seen the place so grand. Oh, it's to be all joy and gaiety tonight, uh, Agnes. Good uh, wealth to you all, eh? Maybe we'll get a lot come of over him. Oh, oh, we, Gavin. It's a change, Mr. Moore. William! Gavin, how are you, man? You know my mother. I find Mistress Kerr. Good evening to you, William. We don't give any offers lost to Edinburgh. Oh, just as long as Edinburgh is not altogether lost to me. Oh, meaning, never. sir? Well, meaning that <laughs> if I'm to settle down here with my wife. Well, he who ventures into wild parts can never tell for his safe return. These wild parts, as you call them, are your heritage, sir. Oh, Father, where's your sense of humour? <laughs> <laughs> William, we're all looking forward to meeting your bride again. What do you mean you've met her before? Oh, aye, years back. We were guests of the Ruthvens in Edinburgh. It was just before Lord Ruthven died. Ah, yes. You look anxious. Our first meeting with your kin? No, I haven't lived here for years. Shall we get to know them together? Now, there's someone you know anyway. Why, Janet is Gavin Kerr. Ah, Gavin. Lady Janet. You know my mother? Lady Janet. Lady Ruth? Mistress Kerr. And Ruth. You were our guests in Edinburgh. Lady Ruth. You were waiting in an My cousin is the Kerr. I came in. Green you didn't head, know who Thomas I was. And Mistress I did. <laughs> and you didn't know where to put yourself. All stairs and clumsiness. <laughs> I'm sure I was bashful too. Oh, <laughs> never. Margaret. <laughs> Margaret, I wonder where your cousin is the Kerr. So Greenhead, <laughs> Thomas and Mistress Mirren. Lady Janet. And the cares of Dolphington, <laughs> Jamie, and his wife, Mistress Ellen. <laughs> Is she no a fine match, eh? <laughs> With no other husbands but her and her sister. Well, you'll have half their fortune and all the prestige in Edinburgh that goes with it. Will they be living at Cesspit when they're wed? Oh, why? Well, have William made my deputy. And when that happens, there'll be no thought of the Scots of Branksome ever getting the wardenship. You don't know what a relief it is, Margaret, to know that your lines are sure. Oh, oh, Mary! You have to see that the servants keep every man's cup overflowing, eh? It's their duty tonight to see that no guest of mine is still on his feet at dawn, eh, Thomas? <laughs> this is no night for penny-pinching, Pringle. There's more than a few pennies laid out here, Sir Walter, when I heard what you told Mistress Mary to put out in the way of food. Look, there's to be no expense spared at my son's betrothal. Now get yourself drunk, you old... Oh, <laughs> hey, now. Give us something to send our blood racing until the good wine does its work. Hey, what'll it be? Oh. Hey, uh, that sounds lively enough. Hey, uh, Mary, the table. Come on, let's clear the floor. Now, William, will you lead off the dance with Janet? And die with my cousin Margaret. Oh, hey, Margaret, oh, Margaret, Margaret, Margaret. It's a while since I've done. Oh, well, never mind, lass. We'll soon get you right set. Aye. Now, by order of the warden, every man and woman here tonight shall enjoy himself. Right. Yeah, forget the cattle plague and the hard winter we've been having. For nothing tonight will mar the joy of this occasion. Hey? Hey? Uh -huh. Welcome to my house, Laird de Branksome. We were invited. Oh, why? But you didn't think we'd come, huh? What made you? Curiosity? <laughs> William, let it not be said that Care of Sisford was not ready to extend a hand of friendship. Aye. Now you can afford to, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and where's your elder, eh? My namesake, Walter. I thought it politic to leave my heir safe at home. Venturing as we are into hostile lands. <laughs> My congratulations to you, William. Sir? Janet, the Laird of Branksome, Sir James Scott. Lady Janet. 
and his son, Robert. An honor to make your acquaintance, Lady Janet. Ah, it's time this feud was ended, Ah, oh, you took no chances at the gates, did you? We were soon disarmed. <laughs> hey, come, Willie, your galliard. Hey, will you join us in the dance, Sir James, with, uh, with the lady of Greenhead there? And you, Robert? Perhaps I could have the honor of dancing with Lady Janet. No, well, why not? It'll show all there's no ill feeling. <laughs> not at all on my side, Warden. Far from it. Oh, well, that's part of it. Hey, Agnes! My son would be honoured if you'd partner him in this dance. Father, what do you think you'd do? Peace and goodwill life to all, and show it. So, Walter. I? They were once said to be in love. Who? Robert Scott and Lady Janet. But her father found out and put an end to it. They were about to be wed. Now you're not joining us, Sir Walter. Hey, oh, my, I, I, I. Walter, come away. <laughs> Sir Walter! Yeah. Sir Walter! <laughs> Here. Uh, uh, William! William! It's nothing. Uh, I'll go to her. Keep every man there is in watch. Oh, yeah. There's no cause for alarm. Tom! Tom of the Holmes! You do mean to entertain us royally tonight, Sir Walter. What will you sing for us, Tam? There's a fine ballad I'd like to hear. Whatever entertainment Tam of the Holmes has in store for us or any other jester here tonight, it's food for the belly, not the heart folk want at the moment. <laughs> Come along, Mary. Mary, tell us ever to bring on the banquet. Come on, now. Gavin, excuse me. What were you saying to my father about Robert and Janet? Uh, They've met before, haven't they? Well, I, I think uh, so. When? If he's come here tonight... Quiet, then... man. Look, she wouldn't have given her hand to you if she didn't love you, would she? Trust her. I knew something would happen tonight, I felt. Whatever mischief he intends, there's none he can do. But William loves you, and you love him. Now hold fast to that. William should have married you, not me. The elder should be wed before the younger. But it was you William loved, Janet. Whatever God ordains, we must accept. Willingly. Did God ordain Robert to come here tonight? Oh, oh Ruth! Oh. Have I not been punished enough? Perhaps not, sister. Have a care of me tonight, please. Have I ever not? Now come back into the hall. You're as cold as the grave. I've just been told you're not alone here tonight. My man at arms informs me that 50 of your men at least have just ridden up to my walls. <laughs> to accompany us home when we leave. I'll fetch you a shawl. Doing yourself, 
Why did you run out? Something amiss? Yes. Why? What should we, William? Dancing too much for you, was it? A dizziness came over me, that's all. We rode all the way from Edinburgh in two days, William. It's not surprising that I'm tired. Thanks. Please stay. Is it wine you want, Janet? Oh, William, does your betrothed have to drink from our minstrel's cup? Come on. This wine is fine for me. That's not wine, Sir Walter. Is it, my lady? Not just wine, anyway. I know these minstrels. They like to work themselves into a fine frenzy. Is it not make you having this pouch of yours, Tam? Oh. Herbs with strange potions to mix with your drinks. To put you in some kind of trance while you wobble. Oh. You need it too. A little does you no know, harm. Huh? But don't you try it, Robert. You need to be accustomed to the potion. Why? What would it do to me? Would it make me see things? Devils dancing off the walls. <laughs> Babs tear off my clothes and gibber like a monkey. <laughs> Would it make me violent, Janet? Or just amorous? I'd kill you. I'd stick to wine if I were you, Robert. It's enough to put heart into most men, eh? <laughs> now look, let's be seated. Janet, I want you to sit on next to me, eh? Where they lay the blanks when you're right. Tam next. Uh, eh, what? I am a bullet, my lady's seed. Come, Tam. So be it. In we go then, folks. Get people along. I join you to enjoy. William. Ruth. Has Janet met Robert before? Now answer me. You saw how he kissed her hand, how he danced with her. He can't take his eyes off her. Lots of men can't. Ah, but there's something between them. Now, Gavin Kerr knows that, he told my father. What is it? Oh, it was nothing, William, nothing at all. Anyway, it was a long time back. What was a long time back? <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my father all smiles after 40 years of youth. A marriage between a Kerr and a Scot would truly set the seal on such a friendship. Oh, hey, Robert, uh, are you seeking my sister's hand in marriage? No, well, no. it's about time you find a husband for her anyway, Gary. Well, I hope he never does that. You want to I die know. an old maid? I hope to choose my man myself. Uh -huh. Then you'd better get on with it, then, with all the most suitable young men being snapped up so quickly. You talk too much, Robert. Aye, and you drink too much. Aye, I put some food in your belly. There's good keeping before you're there. Come on, boy. I'll have some more of that broth. What's it called? Stew of eels? There's none left. Well, you had most of that yourself. Oh, I like it. Half mine. I've no taste for eels. Thank you. Oh, well, what's this now? Hey, I break my... Oh, glory. Wait, man, come on up. <laughs> well, if Agnes won't have me, what about you, Lady Ruth? <laughs> After all, what's to happen to you now that your sister is marrying the deputy warden of the Middle March? Deputy warden? I'm sure Sir Walter has some such plans, Father. Now that William is home and marrying a lady of such grace and distinction. <laughs> and how do you think you'll like Sesford Castle, Janet? It's not quite what you're used to in Edinburgh, is it? <laughs> well, whatever it lacks in refinement, it's at least strong enough to hold off her enemies. These walls can stand up to cannon, Janet. Yes, and I'm sure she must be wondering how often they have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, there are, there are far worse places on the borders. True, Gavin. Branksham, for one. We don't live like this at Branksome, do we, Father? We can't all be warned, Robert. Sure. Not every man wants to be Scott. Those of us in humbler position must needs make do with what the good Lord provides. Well, from what I know of Branksome, the good Lord provides very well. But then they do say that the good Lord helps those who help themselves. Well, in that case, the good Lord must certainly be on your side, oh! Sir Walter. Oh! <laughs> Sir Walter. There, drink oh. yourself under the table, Robert. Oh, Scott, it's great to see you. To you and Janet, William. A toast. Oh, ah, a right. toast. Oh, ah, come on now. To Janet and William. Long life and happiness. Oh. Yes, Branksome's not so bad. And I dare say Lady Janet would find consolations there denied to her here. Such as what? We live nearer to Edinburgh, for one thing. Why? What did you think I had in mind? Tom, our bellies are full and we're in mood for a song. What'll you give us? Ah, there's a grand ballad I'd like to hear him sing. I'll sing for a name but my lady. Come, you'll sing for me. Aye, your requiem. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you mean if I... if I take a sip of this potion of yours? That won't do you any harm, Robert. That's my cup. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, right. where have you been, my long, long love? These seven long years or more. For heaven, that's enough! I attest! You've been provoking him all evening. Oh, in truth. William, please. So this is the way of it. Our weapons are taken from us, and once we're defenseless in your heart. With 50 of your armed men at my gates. You've little cause for anxiety, as you'd see. 50 men. Why? Oh, 50 men. <laughs> I'd invite them all in, Scott, but Pringle's guy tight fisted when it comes to the household accounts. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, forgive and forget, lads. Eh? Tom, give us a song. Do you know green sleeves and pudding pies, eh? Oh, go on. Do you know it, Scott? Uh, hey, green sleeves and pudding pies? Uh, <laughs> green sleeves and pudding pies. Oh, green sleeves and pudding pies. Come I'm all right. I'm all right. It's warm in here. Come, you could do with some fresh air. I'm I'm good. Good. I'm I'll look after her, mistress. I'll be all right, Mother. Virginia, we If they keep Robert occupied, they'll be doing us all a service. I thought I thought You see, she might be a lot of that. Hey, hey, hey. Were you looking for something? Tell me the home. A pooch. Your pooch? Are you sure this is where you left it? Ah, oh, what you need is another drink. Oh, you go on, no, I'll get you one. Robert, there's mother and Gavin. Agnes, you're a big girl now. <laughs> you know what to do? I did the water. Now listen, I... you'll probably lose your place here anyway if this marriage goes forward. Now be ready. Agnes, Ginny, this way I know a better place. What do you mean, Robert? I want some fresh air. Come on. into the kitchen. He said, yes, he said he'd see you there in a hurry now. Come on. Robert. Was Robert your lover in Edinburgh? William, how can you say that? Janet's your betrothed. Is she? I wonder. Oh, for the love of Answer me. It's you I love, William. Did you ever love Robert? I know. I was trying to tell him. The whole dress is ruined. Oh, Janet. Oh, leave me alone. Janet. Janet. Leave me alone. Oh, for heaven, my long, long love, these seven long years or more. That's what Robert wanted him to sing. I've come to so, seek my William former foes ye promised me before. <laughs> I hope it's not damaged beyond all repair. Robert! I had to find some way of getting you alone. You told us, Phyllis. But I thought you were with Agnes. So does everyone else. I hope. No, no, Robert, go away. Please, Robert, I beg you. I wore wa ye for my love hard far away from me. For now I am another man's wife, and you'll get no joy of me. It's me you love, not William. It always has been. Wrong to love you. Wicked. Sin. Just because that damned sister of yours with her pious eyes. I who will be damned, Robert. Only by a jealous sister. Robert. I love you, Janet. Come away from me. If I was to leave my husband dear and my young son also. What have ye to talk me to if we I should go? We've men and horses outside. We could be at Branksome by dawn. And Cessford wouldn't even dare come after us. Otherwise, he'd make William the laughing stock throughout all Scotland. Janet, we'll never get such a chance again. Look at me. I 
I'll take you where the white lilies grow on the banks of Italy. You feeling better, lads? Where's Robert? He left us. Come away, you and sit over here. No, you've made enough mischief for one night. see the white lilies grow on the banks of Italy. But I'll tuck you where the white lilies grow at the bottom of the sea. Janet, even Tom tells you to come with me. No. Listen. No. He's trying to warn me. Warn you? But in the song, they sail away to where the white lilies grow. And die at the bottom of the sea. He takes her to hell, Robert. Hell for their sins. Oh, what in the mountain is yon? She said, said drear with frost and snow. Oh, yon is the mountain of hell, he said, for thou and I must go. If it weren't for what it would start in the march, I'd throttle you now. Oh, God. <coughs> Don't you understand that if old Rutherford hadn't stopped us from getting wed four years ago? <coughs> God, that wine. What's the matter? It's wine of yours. Everything's swimming around. Have the Scots grown so womanish they can't hold their drink? Look, I'll wait down to the hall and let your father carry you home. Why are you so set on having William as warden one day? You'd rather let him marry in spite of what you know that... <laughs> oh, don't bring up your drink in here, you git! <laughs> it's not drink, is it? End of the field. Why, damned you. Damn you, you've... You've got... <laughs> he struck the topmast with his hand. The mean must with his knee, and he broke that bony ship in two and sunk her in the sea. Gavin, uh, I just run into Robert. He was after one of the wenches in the kitchen. <laughs> But he's so befuddled with drink, he can hardly stand. <laughs> uh, Gavin, will you give me a hand with him? Aye, uh, come. Hey, no, 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 no need to trouble you, Scott. But, uh, of course, come if you wish. And Janet, is she? Uh, no, no, in her room. No, no, you Walter. stay here. <laughs> Walter, it's getting late, and we've a long ride. Oh, hey, nice young Margaret. Uh, Mary, Mary, uh, see to our guest, will you? <laughs> Aye, uh, the evening's not over yet. Robert's dead to the world, so we'll have no more trouble from him. <laughs> He'll just uh, sleep it off, eh? <laughs> He's dead. You don't have to tell me that. Well, what can we do? Gavin, there are 50 armed Scots surrounding this castle. If Branksom finds out he's been poisoned by a massacre, how can he fail to? We've got to find out who killed him. Well, how does that help? What? It's our only chance to give him the body and the murderer at the same time. Who do you think it is? My mother? Or Agnes, oh, or me, no. or Ruth. It's not going to help you if it turns out to be Janet, and certainly not if it's William. It mustn't be William. Can't be William. Oh, well, who's left? You. Oh, man. Find out who did it. Unless it was old Scott himself, then we're I know. Oh, well, it could be him. Either some say that Robert's not his son, and, and Mary Scott's had visitors enough in our time. Oh, why should Scott want to kill his own son? Well, to give him an excuse to bring in his men. <laughs> I mean, to kill off all the cares while they're, while they're all here under one roof. I, and on the grounds of a crime against his family, set himself up as warden. I, why, what? Uh, Sir Walter, you don't believe that. It mustn't be William. There's only one person you could afford to let it be. Who? Who? Tam, the singer. No, he would never. Why, that potion that he takes. He said it would be fatal if you... Could it have killed him? 
you've been drunk enough. I will let you, Gavin. Tom's got motive enough. He's as keen in this marriage for Janet as I am, and, and Robert's been poisoned, oh. hasn't he, eh? Well, who else but the old crow could have done it? Oh. I's dead. Poisoned? Aye, poisoned. Oh, Janet. If we could make Scots think that his son had run off with her, eh? No, I would never. Ah, well, it's what he intended, mistress, and what I saw when I came in, he came near to doing it. No! Ruth, we'll go down to the hall and tell Scott that Janet's not in her room. William, you help Gavin to put him in my bedchamber. Now hurry up, Scott, we'll be up here looking for him. William, I would never have gone with him. No! Janet! <laughs> what happened between you and Robert four years ago? They were lovers! Why wouldn't your father let you marry? Because when Robert first came to our house, my father thought it was Ruth he came to court. Ruth is the elder. But you gave yourself to him. He loved me. Do you? You can't be far away, Gavin. Look for her. Mary? Mary, where are you? you? Lady Janet's not in her room. I wonder where she could be. Pringle, raise the guards. I want the castle searched. But Walter, surely you can't think... And the rest of you go home. The uh, evening is over. Oh. Mary, get them up here. Go and help Gavin look at this. What are you doing here? What over its deed. Psst, sir, what? Pringle, did you find it? What? My pooch. Your pooch? Was this why you came here tonight, Sir James? To have Robert shame that lass before the cares? Would you stoop as low as this to stop the marriage? As low as what? Getting Robert to take Lady Janet on the night of her betrothal. Lady Janet needs no taking, Margaret. She gave herself to Robert long ago. William, please. I know I deserve to be William, punished. if you have any feelings left for it's her... It's true, Gavin. It's right what he said. We were lovers. Well, even so. It's a mortal sin. Ruth told me that. And it says it in the Bible. St. Paul. My father Look, too. your father. Look, he just didn't want you to marry with a Scot of Branksome. If it had been anyone else, he'd not have quoted the Bible at you. And how you of all men can stand there and throw stones at her while you're not fit even to look at. Gavin, are you sure you're not a whit in love with her yourself? Help me move him. Ruth, you see the jammer. It was your potion killed him. I'd see you'd enough my dragger or whatever it is in your pooch to put down 20 men. Aye, there was enough taken. When did you find it gone? Oh, late. You've no love for Robert Scott, have you? You slipped it in his cup when he wasn't looking. Would I know he wasn't looking, Warden? One of you else would have known that I wasn't. Good night. Hey, oh, good night. If anyone can tell me, you will let her know. My pooch was on the table. Only in could have got to it. I'd have seen if only one had. Maybe you did. Go, oh, Tom. But the eyes don't wish to see, or the hair to know. Can't be, William. You think I killed him? Well, why not you? You handed him your goblet? Drink yourself under the table, you said, and he drained it down. Oh, man, that's nonsense. The cup that Janet gave Robert at dinner wasn't her own as she said it was, and you know it. It was Tam's. What? You accuse her. Does love turn to hate that fast? Well, it looks as if it did in her case. Janet. Janet. I've got to get you home tonight. Lord Robert's kin are outside. Fifty Scots surrounding the castle. Once they find out what's happened and... and who killed him... Janet! Did you poison Robert? You think I did? Answer my question. Ruth, why did you say that I have to get away? Oh, my dearest sister. Ruth, I beg you. William, William, you've got to help us. They'll tear her to pieces. Murderess, too? You hypocrite. You wanted him dead. So did your father, the warden. She did it for you so she could marry you and make you happy. How do you know, Ruth? How do you know? Because I... I saw her. I saw you. With my own eyes. 
Where's Sir James? Here. Where are you, Scott? Here, Sir Walter. Oh, hi. Right. <laughs> My sergeant informs me that he's just heard the horses ride away. He thought it was some of your men. Could it be Robert on his way back to Branksom with Lady Janet Ruthven? <laughs> if he is, I think it's time I followed him. <laughs> Will you make my farewell to William and to your cousins the Slytherin? Pringle, fetch my sword. So they're still here? Who? Hey, Margaret and her daughter. Aye, the young lass wanted somebody to lie down and her mother took her to your bedchamber. Why? Come in here, love. Oh, terrible. Oh, no, you'd best oh. lie down in the bed. Where can Gavin be? Gavin? What was that? A cry from the dungeons? Came from above. This is the way out, Scott. You're taking the abduction of your son's bride very coolly, Sesford. Well, perhaps we're well rid of her. Walter! Walter! Branksome! Branksome! Well, have you found out who did it? Aye, sir. Who, man? I don't believe it. Ruth saw her take Tam's goblet, which she later gave to Robert to drink from. But Robert would have noticed if he'd been drinking. Mother, he was too drunk to notice anything. There's some mistake. Oh, she's admitted it. I'll not believe it. I'm going to her. Margaret, stay here. Cars! All oh, cars! Ten, twelve years ago, my father was warden of this match. And you, Colonel Sussman, slow him. Get him down in the streets of Edinburgh. First my father, and now my son. He was a guest of yours. Guest, you brought him here to steal my bride with 50 armed men to get her away. Robert only got his due. Pringle, tell my man. God, I'll fix them myself! Do you want half of them dead by morning? Do you think the Scots and the Cares won't fight together for vengeance? Ah, oh, his death will be properly looked into, Scott, by all due process of law. Law? What law? Car law! And we've had enough of that these 30 years or more. Looked into by whom? You? By any judge you care to name. There'll be a proper trial. Justice, not vengeance. You see, we know who killed them. She's confessed. It's as Ruth says. I gave Robert Tam's cup to drink from. But why, Jack? Why? Oh, if only I'd kept quiet. But I thought Gavin knew. I thought the only thing to do was to get her it's away. As it should be, Ruth. For my sin, judgment was passed long ago. All is at rest now, all atoned for. Robert and I must go together to where the white lilies grow. Oh, for he been Lord Randall, my son. Oh, for he been my bonny young man. I've been to the wild to admother mark my bed soon. For I'm weary with hunting and a fain would lie down. Why, Janet loved him. Someone killed him and she's admitted it. How do I know that she's not protecting William here? Or you? Or any one of you? Oh, I don't find you likely to be William. That would see the end of us cares as wardens. But she's admitted it, man, of her own free will. Hey, Tam sings for a purpose. Janet never killed Robert. Hmm? But with nothing to live for, she's quite prepared to die for whoever did. Tam knows it. That's why he sings Lord Randall, Robert's Requiem. 
Var gaçi yar denerler duran domasan. Var gaçi yar dener ma boni yang man. Make time stop. Please make him stop. Who are you trying to protect, John? William? What got you to your dinner, Lord Random son? What got you to your dinner, my bonny young man? Janet wants you to stop. I got eels boiled in brom, that mark my bed soon. For I'm sick of the hair, and a pain would lie down. A stew of eels. That's what killed him. But we all had those. Except Ruth. She gave hers to Robert. Ruth? Find her, you two. It was you, Ruth, wasn't it? It's you she's trying to shield. You've no cause to say that. Janet didn't kill Robert. But when you said you saw her, she knew you were lying, and guessed why. Ruth! It's me you should have wed. Me. Am I not the elder? Tam. Why? There were two sisters in a bower. I and Sibonio. There came a night. To be their war, and the swan swims the bonny hill. He courted the eldest with glove and ring. I am the bonny hill, but he lured the youngest. The bubble thing, and the swan it swims the bunny off. It was the same with Robert. He came to court me and fell in love with Janet. I swore then I'd be revenged on him one day. And on Janet too? Accusing your own sister of killing. She killing. deserved it. Yes, I did, I know. The way she behaved with Robert that time. Animals! The eldest sister was vexed, sir. I, Sibonio, and much she envied our sister fair, and the swan it swam, Sibonio. Stop it, Ruth. I know my sins. I want to die. Oh, Ruth, you have every oh, right. Janet? Janet! She's dead with her weeping knife. I Swan it swam, 